Yes, I do hate myself. How'd you know? Okay, what do we do? Uh, age. Mature. Origin. Oh, you know who we can make, actually? Uh, what the fuck's his name? We can make Alucard from Helsing. No, we don't have the stuff for it. I'm sure we do. Yeah, but it requires getting some items from midway through the game. They actually have some shit in the game? Yeah, but you don't get the red coat, though, which is a shame. Waste, <laughs> waste of skin. You are nothing. Ooh. Talentless. You shouldn't have been born. <laughs> the fucking weebdom of the From Software devs is amazing. The fact that they put Berserk stuff in fucking Dark Souls and in this shit and friggin'... Face terrible hardships, but new confident, but confident in your purpose. Noble signs. Signs are respectable line with faith in your pedigree. Wait, oh. is Waste of Skin just zero, 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 zero? No, it's just you're at the lowest level. Everyone's level 10. You're level 4 here. Isn't that for, like, if you want to build, like, a custom build? No, it's if you really hate yourself. Uh, or that. Big head mode. We're just playing big head mode. Yes. Fuck. Yeah. We've got full game room, damn it. I don't know, I like the name Hinkle Smurf. From the mighty Hinkle Smurf plan. <laughs> wah, wah, wah! Behold! Come on, come all! See the mighty adventures of Hinkle Smurf! Listening to me, you shake. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Holy shit, man, why is your name Hinkle Smurf? Says it right out loud. You may think it all Um, I'm assuming this plays in PS4 enhanced mode on PS5. I don't even know, the game's not passed for PS4 Pro, unfortunately. Ow, Hitman does it and it's even older! Because this game came out in 2014. Yeah, but you could still patch it for 4K. They never did. They stopped updating the game after 2015. Which was a year before the Pro came out. See, I feel like they made Bloodborne and then realized, oh shit, Dark Souls is more popular. We should probably not do that. Anymore. Yeah, they were developing Dark Souls 3 and they needed all hands on deck because they realized 2 fucking sucked, so they wanted to try to fix it with 3. So Dude, I keep hearing people say amazing things about 2. Are you sure about that? Yes, because I think what you're dealing with is Die Hard for 2. Like, people that defend it. When in reality, the game is just not good. Not even good. Die Hard! Just people that like Souls games keep saying good things about 2. I'm sorry, do you prefer- then, Do you prefer your dodge- Do you prefer your dodge being tied to stats? Yes. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, in a anyway, soul- In us in a, No, 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 in a Souls-like? I mean, to be fair, it's tied with to stamina one, and Neo. With one of the hardest DLCs in gaming? Sounds like someone just seems to get good. No, I just don't like my stats tied. To, I just don't like my dodge tied to stats. Roasted! I don't like my dodge tied hey, to Doc, stats. Hey, Doc, how good did I get him? I'm sorry. He says the guy that gave up on SMT4 ever after he beat the first dungeon. Hey! It's not that I gave up on it. It's that most likely my data got deleted because my fucking 3DS keeps collapsing. No, you, pro you gave up on it. You're just a pussy. No. I think the fucking memory thing in my 3DS or like whatever RAM is in there just keeps fucking killing itself. Uh. Make sure Guitar Hero works. Cause I have Guitar Hero 3, which is really rare. Are you actually gonna try and beat me first, enemy? No. Ah, oh, my eye! He's about to kill you, isn't he? Yeah. So what happens if you kill him? Do you still just die? Well, the game will just kill you regardless. Have you ever killed him before? No. First time to try! First time to try! I'm sorry, I'm dealing three damage per hit, dude. You got this. You dodge like a motherfucker. Nah. I don't feel like you it. You had one job! I don't feel like it. I'm just teasing internet, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's the last day on the channel. You might as well. 
I'm gonna get to come back on your channel in a few months. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, well, in a few months, probably like next year. Probably. I mean, listen, by next year, GTA 6 will be out. You know what we're doing. We're both getting a copy of that on PC. Oh, wait, actually, it's not even coming out on PC. Fuck! Fuck is right. I hope my PS5 is ready to be abused. Yep. I can only imagine how big that game's file is going to be. Didn't they do, like, an estimate file size and it's going to be huge? I think everyone knows that game is going to be absolutely fucking ginormous. Like, I know for damn sure that what's going to end up happening is that they're going to release the game and the game is going to be, like, 300 gigs. <laughs> they're going to release the game and they're going to... Wait, what was that thing they were saying that pissed everybody off? I don't you know. You could, like, lease it or something? I don't know. That Apparently the, the creator, the CEO wants the game to be like, Oh, the game's $300? You're going to pay $300 for it. He believed that... This, yeah. yeah this How to kill your game on launch. Luckily, he's not doing that because most... Oh, yeah, you can pay $300 for it or pay a monthly subscription fee. Which, uh, dude... Are you fucking crazy? Yeah, I don't even think the stu <laughs> I think I don't even think shareholders are that dumb. Where it's like, first off, we're not that stupid. <laughs> like we get it, shareholders are greedy, but they're not like that impatient. Like, like Jesus Christ! I know this game's probably gonna be the most expensive game to produce again, just like GTA Five was. But Jesus Christ, do you really have that much lack of faith? No, I'm pretty sure GTA Five Online has made back all GTA's costs and then some. <laughs> Pretty much. I here's the thing. Go, GTA 5 is their golden goose. If GTA 6 is just half as good as online, bro, on, the GTA 6 is gonna be make up for everything with just sales alone. I mean, GTA 6 is probably gonna have GTA Online too. I have a good feeling. Hundred percent. I know GTA Online wasn't even available at the launch of GTA 5. Nope, it was made a later later. Like they, no, they launched GTA 5 and then it came out a week later. It was weird, because they gave me the second disc for GTA Online, I remember. And I think it- no, it came out the next day. That's what happened. Elderly is effective. Okay. I think, right? Yeah, because I remember the game had two discs. One was the installation disc for GTA Online. Then the other was the game. And I don't, honestly don't remember. Uh, it's been so fun. It's been ten years! Here's the thing, I was Need like, I remind everyone. I was 10 years old when that game came out. Dude, I just turned 18. Like, I was, I was able to buy that shit with my ID, and you know how good that felt? <laughs> how good that felt. Oh, God. Amazing. I know that feeling, too, when I got my ID for the first time. I was able to buy... Fucking... What game was it? I forgot what it was. It's like everything's miserable and we're all gonna die. Yeah, that's the thing with Souls games. You're never really stopping the apocalypse. You're always just experiencing the aftermath. That's just a thing with Souls games you gotta get used to. Dark Souls 1, you're just seeing the world after the world after the apocalypse. Sekiro, experiencing what it was like after a war. Um Elden Ring, literally after everyone fucking died. And Demon fucking died. Demon Souls is the only one where you're preventing the apocalypse. That's the only one. Other than that, yeah, most Souls games always have you dealing with the aftermath of these assholes' decisions. Pretty much. Uh, hey, JK, uh, yeah, you are late. I'm gonna have to assign you a lunch detention tomorrow. Sorry, man. Fuck! I forgot how that worked. Everyone always picks the freaking cleaver. Wait a minute. Oh fuck! I forgot some things. Let me go get it. Ah, here's go a get the shit. Here's a lamp. I need to buy a torch. Turn the hunter's dream. Yeah, everyone always always picks the cleaver. Because it's iconic. It's amazing. It's also really good for early game enemies. And I, like a man, pick the cane sword because the cane swords are because cane swords are fucking cool. Yes, they're cool, until you realize they hit like a fucking balloon. I know! 
You're just jelly because I like cooler weapons than you do. <laughs> Historically accurate weapons. No, you see, I'm a cool gamer. I like to put the wield the gut sword. <laughs> Fuck you! I want my gut sword. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! I want my gut sword. Wait, you can get the gut sword in this one? Uh, it's not. It's not really the gut sword, but there's an equivalent called. Well, yeah, they usually do that. Like make homages. You said they made an homage to. Uh... Hang on, it'll come to me. In which game? Uh. Did you say they made an homage to? Uh... Oh my God, what's the name of that anime? Uh, Berserk. The vampire one. Helsing! You said they made a thing to Helsing? No. Why oh, you said they made an homage to Helsing by making an Helsing item in this one? No. And what the heck were we talking about earlier? No, that you can like dress up as Alucard if you get certain stuff. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's clear a hell fucking Alucard. Yeah, but that's or a but that's homage. mostly if you're that's mostly if you're playing like fashion souls or some shit. Fashion Souls, what the no, fuck? I'm not joking, that's a thing. Um, so here's the thing with Souls games, you need to realize. It's more than just gameplay, it's also looking cool. And some people like to play Fashion Souls by essentially just grabbing every item in the game, or every armor set, and just mix and matching and see what's the coolest. Also, how many belts do you have? Enough to make uh, Vincent Valentine blush. I mean, it's weird. You have a lot of belts, but you're not strong, so it's not going with the anime protect the edgy anime protagonist power system. Like the rules, if you're in an anime or anime-inspired video game, you need at least 20 belts to be considered the main character. Hold on. I'm pretty sure this lever act. I'm pretty sure this lever animation was reused in Dark Souls and plenty of other games. I'm pretty sure it's also reused in Elden Ring. I mean, yeah, dude, you're not gonna pay someone to anime a new leave your animation. <sighs> yeah, if you look at Elden Ring. So are those two side belts really necessary? Yes, hold my weapons. I said it's cool. Oh. I also need to buy the outfit. Hold on, where's the outfit? It's the outfit that's iconic for this game and makes me kind of... Never mind, I was about to say something fucked up. Never mind. <laughs> what does a trick weapon form do? It just changes the shape of the weapon. It, change, it changes the properties of it. Whereas, here is a like quick and, you know, like this. This gives it more range and more power, but makes it slower. I got you. And if you, depending I'm on how... Oh, I, keep confu I keep hitting triangle because I'm used to playing Elden Ring now. Uh, essentially... If you time your combos right, what ends up happening is that you can mix and match like that. Timing your switching. That's yeah, great. Why do you think people love blood so much? Oh, I'm gonna ignore him for now. I need to get better armor. You know what we should totally play? What? I don't think you have a copy though. Multiplayer Surgeon Simulator. I forgot Surgeon Simulator was multiplayer. Also, the game. Dude, I got like autistically good at that game for a while. And then I just can't remember how I got that good, so I just, yeah. Surgeon Simulator, even real surgeons have a hard time playing that game, dude. Like, I got so good to the point where I was able to do a uh, heart transplant with only half the chest open inside an ambulance. Okay. Somehow. Look at that outsider. Also, uh, the one thing I like about the Souls game is that for games made in Japan, they don't try to go for the anime voice acting thing. And that's something Miyazaki said himself he wants to kill. Um, he essentially is sick and tired of the... If a game is from Japan, you gotta do the anime voice acting thing, where like you sound like you're an anime character. And he wants to kill that off. I can tell that he does. Yeah, because, most, there's an Iranian... because most of the voice acting Sorry. in Souls games sound very professional. Like, they don't sound like hamped up for like anime style voice acting. And it sounds amazing. Like, I have, like, uh, character in the Elden Ring DLC. He sounds amazing, and it's his first role. And I'm pretty sure the guy has like a 
has practiced with theater and he puts his all in that role and it's amazing and everyone loves him. One thing I'll give this game credit for is the first enemies you fight aren't freaking zombies. Well, here's the thing. This game wants to hammer in the fact that, you know, you're fighting beasts. That's what you're fighting. You're not fighting zombies. You're not fighting um, peop regular swordsmen. You're fighting people that are going have gone insane and bought and monsters. You're essentially a weaker Van Helsing. The game. That's essentially what the thing is. The game wants you to basically is a Van Helsing simulator. And the game also encourages you to fight like a beast as well. Essentially, always keep the attack going, never stop. So if you so if you can get as much attack as you can in, the game wants you to be aggressive. The game is also really yeah, fast, know. which is why I know you'll like which is why I know you'll die the moment you play this game because I know you're not that type of player. Like. Like, you know how every time I strike an enemy, my character glows for a second? Yeah. That's the rally mechanic, essentially. Where every time you hit an enemy, you have a chance to get back health. And every hit brings back health if you're damaged. Oh, that's deep. Yes, that's why I mean the game heavily encourages aggressive play. I mean, when I play this game aggressively, I tend to get murderized faster. Yeah, because you suck at Souls games, dude. You should see me in new... You should see me when I have my proper character, because that character has the fucking Moonlight Greatsword, it's great. Moonlight Greatsword. You essentially become a weaker Link, because you have like you have to use a charge shot to shoot the blade beam, but other than that, you're... <laughs> it's fun. You're, I don't know. Wielding Greatswords in Souls games is always fun for me, and I don't know why. Oh, great sword go bonk. Also, if you are gonna do a backstab, you do this. I thought you said backstabs weren't a thing. They aren't. You have to do a you have to do a charged heavy attack, and then you can backstab. Oh fuck. Yeah. Let's anyway, yeah, let's get off this topic. Yeah, let's get off anyway. it. Uh, anyway, uh, I just murdered a man in a wheelchair. This leads back up here, which lets me go back to... There were arguably worse times for America than the 50s. Oh, dude, the, the, America was oh. at its worst in the 50s. Yeah. No, I'm not talking about, like... 50s. Oh, wait, I can't level up yet because I need insight. Fuck. I don't get insight until I do a certain thing, which is gonna be annoying. Oh. Let's change topic. I was, then you typed it in chat, JK. Yeah, let's, let's like seriously, let's get on. With, let's get on with it. Anyway, this is the drip I was speaking of. The drip I was speaking of. Ooh, actually, oh, this is different. Wasn't that the thing on the cover art of the game? Yeah, that's the point. Wait a minute. Huh. I never noticed that. Um... I don't know if it's because it's been a while since I played the game, or this thing looks way better now. Yeah, uh, JK, I have a feeling that Bethesda is not announcing Test 6 because they're probably gonna, they're probably switching to a new engine. Because we gotta remember, the creation engine was created for Morrowind. Yeah, that's my guess. We're probably gonna have And they've pretty much just been tweaking it every game they release. Yes. And the thing is, I think even they realize that, yeah, it's time to switch engines. Which is why they should go for Unreal. Do you have to pay Epic? Yes. But it's a free engine for a reason. I mean, that depends if we would do it. We can always just do it with Persona 5 once the game's actually announced. Yeah, like once the game's announced, we could do like a speedrun thing. You know what's gonna be fucked up is that I might end up doing a marathon and just binging it. 
Well, you're like going to see that Nuzlocke run that we're talking about. Apparently, a Nuzlocke run we can do. Yeah, I am aware. It's just I don't want to do I it. I don't want to try it. Cause apparently, it's fucking hard as dicks. And, uh, well, you could try it. I'm not. Oh, I will. <laughs> See, if I, I wish it was possible for Persona 3, but Persona 3 has that card system, so you can't really do it like that. Oh, hello! Like, I can see how it works with 5. You just go into a room and pick, like, one demon, maybe. Or, like, one demon per dungeon. Yeah, you can. Yeah, they make a new... Here's the thing. For Soul Hackers 2, there's a different story. What they did is that they use a Unity for that game, which explains a lot. People love to say that like Persona, that Persona 5 needed a remaster because it ran slow. Bullshit! I have to know Persona 5. Fuck? That game runs Who the like a fuck dream. says that? That game runs. You cool. have on occasion. When it uh, comes to FPS, but gameplay wise, the game is fast as fuck. What are you talking about? I didn't about? say gameplay wise. I was talking FPS. I never noticed a single frame. I mean, Persona 5 does crash on PS5 quite frequently. No, it doesn't. Probably why they made the PS5 version. What do you mean? Persona I got... 5 base does. No, no. I've seen people play through base on 5, and it's probably fine. I think it's just rarely occurring. It's a rare occurrence with you, I guess. Dude, I think it's my fucking disk drive on my PlayStation 5. I think it's fucked somehow. <laughs> no shit. You really need to get that fixed, dude. Like, when did you get your PS5 uh... again? When did you get it? Uh... 2020-ish. Oh, that ex that explains so much. That explains a lot. Because usually, because er er yeah, because it's early. Because early model PS5s weren't exactly the best. They didn't exactly run the best, so it's. Expected. I know I have constant issues with it. No, it's not that your PS4 ran like a dream. It's the fact that the games were optimized for the weakest system. And the thing is, those games had like lowered settings and shit. And it just so happens every game on PS4 looked a bit uglier than on, on PC, which, you know, PC Master Race speaking over here. Here's the thing, it's not, I'm not talking game performance, I'm talking just performance of the hardware in general. Like, I feel like my fucking disk drive crashes all the time, I feel like the network adapter is constantly breaking. I also have to send it to re for repairs the first year I had it, because it just went into a constant boot loop for no reason. It happened with my old PS4, and it sucked. Well, but the thing- Yeah. Here's the thing though, I remember, speaking of my PS4, um, I have a story for why that happened, and yeah, it was mostly a me thing. Because what I did is that I bought a little mini suitcase that had a screen in it. And it was meant for traveling when you're bored. Actually, ch actually, chat, that was a lie. I, and there was a hand-me-down from my cousin. Thank you, by the way, cousin. What ended up happening is that because of the fact I was too... Yes, I was too lazy to go to the home menu and turning it off manually, I would just disconnect it. Over and yeah, over. You kind of always... Turn it off. I always turn mine off. Be it like the. No, I always no. I was a dumb kid and I was always disconnected. And that because of that, my PS4 broke. Wait, you straight up just unplugged the damn thing? Yes. You didn't even hit the power button. <laughs> no, I just unplugged it. That's all I did. No power button. No home menu. Go into there. Just unplugged it. I was Dude. that fucking impatient as a kid. One of the first things I learned in PC hardware class. That is the worst thing you can do for any electronic, unless you can just specifically power cycle it. And because of that, oh it was stuck God. on a, it was stuck on the safe mode menu, and I could not go past it. Dude, I probably sound really muffled right now because my head is down on my desk just in Oh, uh, no, here's the thing. I'm disappointed in my young self as well. You're not alone. Like they have their own home, their own, their own uh, system and OS. I still think the coolest looking model of the PS3 was the original PS3 fat. Oh yeah, it was. Also, I like how I like how I like how Nintendo downgraded their UI for the Switch. Oh my god, it looks horrendous. Oh, the PS5 had a Brazil release in 2010 for the PS3. 
Damn, they only had three. <laughs> I like how Brazil always gets the good games late. They still develop for the Genesis, for fuck's sake. Wow. The PAL regions didn't get the PS3 until 2007. So Europe didn't get it until 2007. To where us and Japan got it six days apart. And the U. Oh my god, the PS3 retails at 600 bucks? Oh yeah, Sony was just trying to. Here's the thing: people got so essentially in short. The reason it cost that much is because Sony got cocky with the PS2 and thought fans would gladly pay six hundred dollars for this piece of shit. And, and it cost five hundred ninety-nine euros in most of Europe, but it cost six hundred twenty-nine euros in Ireland for some reason. You mean pounds? No, uh, they use euros. And then. Which and is, yeah, pounds. Australia was almost a thousand dollars, Australian dollars. Holy Jesus shit. Christ. And in New Zealand, it was one thousand one hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-five cents in their money. I remember correctly, I can just speed run faster. Is there any gear? Yes, there was. Let's don't charge. Let's go. I'm going to upgrade my sock lever when I get the chance. Wow. The PS3 only had 256 megabytes of GDD. Oh, there's DDR the pig. There's the pig. Of DDR3 memory. There's the piggy. Look right there, brother. Can you see the piggy? It's right there. I cannot see it. King Henry died from his chocolate milk break in the Xbox 360. Shut up! <laughs> damn it. Uh, How anyway. about if I don't want to kill that damn pig, I need to do some weird chill. Oh, no, I know where I am. I know where I am. I'm not ready uh, so for this. So used a 550 megahertz NVIDIA slash SCEI, depending on your region, RSX Reality Synthesizer. I need to find a point to save or find a lamp. I want a lamp. Damn. So apparently the PS5's graphics chip was based on 7800 GTX. Is that good or bad? I mean, considering how many problems developers had for it, I don't know. Uh... Which is why, which is what makes me glad that they're now, you, which Sony's no longer doing that shit, because they realized, yeah, it was stupid from the get-go, so we're just gonna, you know, use third-party huh. stuff. It ran an IBM processor at 3.2 gigahertz. Is that impressive or not? Is that impressive or not impressive? For a console running at 3.2 gigahertz is impressive. The so the That's so the console impressive. itself was strong. It's just the cell processor that fucked it. It really was. They would have just went with a standard like NVIDIA processor. I'm pretty sure it would have been fine. Yeah, they would have still won that era, but because of that, the 360 won. Even though, yeah, technically the Wii won. Oh. Shit, it's the fucking Wii. The fucking Wii. It's like, it's not, it's not even funny. That thing fucking sold like hotcakes, dude. Like, I, like now that you remind me of that, like, what the fuck was I talking about? Don't listen to me, actually. What the fuck oh. am I speaking? Microsoft made its own CPU for the 360. And it still worked better than what Sony was doing. Codename Xenon. And it still worked better than what Sony was using. Oh, and then their GPU were PS3 used NVIDIA, S360 used uh, AMD, used an AMD, yeah, the PS3 used a hybrid AMD Xbox or Microsoft GPU. Like this is gonna be the last stream just talking about tech shit with the 360 and PS3. Ugh, PS3. Oh wow, the early ones used ATIs. Really? ATI doesn't exist anymore, they became AMD. So they got better. Well, okay. So you're telling me the early 360s still use an ATI? That's interesting. That is interesting. I mean, so the essentially third-party consoles were back then were ahead of their time, but you know, that's what you're basically saying. Finally, yeah, you're. Systems were way ahead of their time. <laughs> 
also really meet one of the he many the also by the running, also i would like you to meet one of the best souls waifus in the soul series I got a full dick sword real quick. Meet the doll lady, who is considered one of the best waifus in Souls games. Oh, her! The amount of porn I've seen of her is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, Dark Souls players are horny, yo. Oh, believe me. You should see the giant chest ahead in Dark Souls 1. Giant chest ahead. Look it up. Look it up. Giant chest ahead, Dark Souls 1. Step 4 360, complex feeding 3. Did we really get chat arguing about old consoles from 2005? They were just joining on, joining I, him. He just joined it on the convo. I know, I've done my job. King Henry died from chocolate milk breaking his Xbox 360. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I know where I am. Oh, fuck. The boss room, from what I remember? Yep. Okay, 20 bucks Shin- Alright, I'm gonna place a bet on Shinigami's deaths for this boss. I'm gonna say five times. You want Ooh, in on this chat? Oh boy. Father Gaskion. Hey, brother! How you doing? 50 bucks on Father Gaskion! Hey, Father Gaskion. Uh, you wanna just let me pass? Oh, fuck. I hate this guy, bro. He killed me so many He's times. Like, I fucking hate this dude. I thought that was him for a sec. Hold on. <laughs> that, that voice really sounded that similar. Yeah, just a bit lower pitched. You, you, if I remember correctly, I cheesed him by. Uh, cheddar or American cheese? If I remember right, I cheesed him by getting him over here and just abused the longsword. Yeah, that's what I did. I essentially. Uh, that's strat, actually. I'm in for seven deaths. I'm still gonna say five. Now, if he beats him the first time. Oh, I'm not gonna beat him the first time. Don't worry about that. Oh, by the way, chat. While I'm on hiatus, I'm going to be playing through SMT4. I'm not going to be doing it on video, but I'm going to be playing through SMT4, so Shinigami will shut up about it. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting a phone call, god damn it! I don't know all the times! Fucking with no armor like a man. Hold no, on. No, no, that's how I play Oblivion, chat. Me and Chad are literally just like the fucking spectators in a fucking MMA match right now. What's that smell? Don't, don't, don't you dare use a trick weapon on me, bastard. It's enough to make a man sick. Ow! Oh, if you, dude, if you like pull this off the first time fighting him, I'm not. You got this. No, I don't. I mean, you just ripped his chest out. You clear. He's at half health. You got this. No, I don't. Hey, I'm too busy fighting Father Gaskin or whatever man. Gaskion. Ow. Gaskion. Chop through the heart. No <laughs> rooting for the boss. He's gonna transform, I know he is. I'm waiting for it. Okay. Ow! Like an MMA fighting ring in this bitch, or like a fucking gladiator fight roll to take his bet. He's gonna transform and it's gonna suck. Father Glizzy! Hey, brother! Woo! That's a good transformation, though. 
Apparently there's a slime boss in this game. Yes, and it's annoying. Come on, come on, come on. Get behind him. That's not how this works. This You're is the trying part. hard enough. This is the part that always gets me. That's the fucked up part. Oh wait, the second phase is him just doing a trick thing. Oh, so the third phase is his beast form. And Grizzion switches into his second phase. Can this be a turning? You're muted again. You're muted again. A cheese strap. Yes, it is. Until this part. <laughs> the thing is, though, because he like because of the fact this AI like this is very prone to auto attack, like this, for example, he's very easy to parry. I don't know. Oh. oh, I just remember, I remember how I beat this bastard. I completely forgot that's how I did it. Mm. Oh. oh, 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 shit. His siblings were named Kobe and Oreo. All three are dead now. Oh no, not you! Yeah. Oh no, Dude, I hate. I hate these dudes. They're so annoying. Dude, old age for cats is a bitch, yo. I hate these guys. No, keep away from me. Stay away. I don't want to deal with you. Fuck off. No, keep away. My current, my current black cat's name is Cork, and he is a good boy. Keep away. I don't want to deal with you. There's a story behind the name Cork. So my Palico in Monster Hunter World was actually named Cork because I couldn't think of a name for my Palico. So I'm like, you know what? Cork. Cork, Cork as in Captain Cork? From Gretchen as in Plank? a Cork you Cork a wine bottle with. Oh man, I don't want to deal with these assholes. Oh god, because I'm not high enough level for them. Also, the wooden Old sheep. Age for everyone, be a bitch. It is. Also. Don't deal with bother with the wooden shield in this game. It is this game is not designed for the shield. I don't think anyone uses a shield in this game. Oh boy, there's gotta be a way out. Come on. I hate dealing with these dudes. Yes, Cork. C O R K.
Like the cork you like the cork you pop you uh, put on a wine bottle. Oh my god, there's a lot of you. Why are there so many of you guys? Why am I giving you guys so much lore about my life before I go off stream for a month? A uh, few months, you mean. Oh god, please just get me out of here. Oh, thank god I'm here. I'd rather deal with these assholes than you. Because I remember correctly, there's a forest somewhere. And if I die to those burly assholes, what ends up happening is I get warped somewhere that I'm not prepared for. And I'll never get my echoes back if I die there, because it takes forever to find a lamp. Work more like dork, I'm sorry for your loss. It's okay. Quark's still alive, what do you mean? Oh, he means my other cat. Ah, uh, yummy. You eat. The only time I probably won't have my meds if we stream is if we do a drunk stream, because that's bad to take with my meds. Yeah. Wait anyway, wait. here's one wall. Fuck off, JK. This town is long about abandoned. Yeah, Hunters why do I know there. that meme? What is that meme from? What meme? So anyways, anyway, here's, here's Wonderwall. Wonderwall. <laughs> I don't remember what that's from. It's from something I've seen. By the way, JK, you're not getting back Camila. She's she's Takumi's now. Yes, the guy guy cucked you. You, you turned Fire Emblem to an NTR. Oh, that's from a Retin Link video. <laughs> or was it someone else? I don't know if it was you that wanted Camila. Uh, I don't know, but you apparently pissed somebody off with that thumbnail. What I do? Well, for fire or fire fantasy or? Uh, they put in the comments, "quote Shinigami is a gay loser. How dare he ship Camilla with this fucking cut lord? Shinigami should go in a closet and sing to himself. Ding dong, the witch is dead, and I'm completely gaslighting you right now." I was There's checking my Gmail right now. <laughs> I was about to check my Gmail in case I got a, a comment. I can use the gaslight here. There's no comment. Wait, did I actually tell like a real YouTube commenter? Because here's the thing. When you, like, someone puts a comment on your video, you'll get a Gmail from it. And I completely, I and I went to go check my Gmail immediately. And, I, and I'm like, wait, is this guy serious? <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say, shitty got me. Go kill yourself. And I'm like, no, I'm still on stream for a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it ain't the first time. I'm like, <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Also, uh, we have a, I have a modded Minecraft server I'm part of now. It's dope. Yeah. Uh, how my balls. You're welcome. You're all welcome. I hate being almost 30. This man's an old man. He, what's the thing? Sure? What's the thing you got upset at? What's that thing you told me about? You got upset when we were starting to stream? You got upset at me because I didn't know it? Oh! This man doesn't know what a fucking telethon is! <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck this is a telethon? <laughs> Dude, okay, my- these, these my, fucking dick jokes are making me very happy. Because my dumbass was like, what the fuck's a telethon? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, a t okay, a telethon is like a Kickstarter, but instead of a Kickstarter, people call into the TV station with this thing called a landline or cell phone, and they donate money, you young bastard. Funniest shit ever. Hi, I have a kid? Nice. I'm like the only one of my siblings that does not have, like, I feel like I'm the only one in my generation that doesn't have a kid right now. Yeah, uh, tell your kid to subscribe. It's not that I don't want one, it's that I have a crippling inability to get myself laid. <laughs> you didn't hear what I just said, did you? What? I tell him, get his kid to, kid to subscribe. <laughs> get his kid to subscribe. Yeah, I'll just get right on that. Uh, also, my balls are fine now. I just had a scare in the beginning of the year. Ooh, this game always has me on my toes. I can't even imagine what the Mega Man. Bloodborne and Ball Torture. Yeah. So that that same book also says to sanitize your baby's reusable diapers with mercury. Don't do that. That'll poison your child. Ow! Oh. 
Like, it is a very, very old medical journal. Alright, for context, essentially, for the 100 sub, 50 sub stream, my plan was, um, to essentially Mega Man a Marathon, Mega Man 0, 3, and 4, and as a little bit of a bonus, every time I die a certain amount of deaths, I would have to do it with, like, a thing on a wheel. No, I hit my hand on my desk, I'm fine. But essentially, his toe. essentially, the idea was that if I die a certain amount of times in Mega Man Zero, Three, or Four, I'd have to do a thing on a wheel, and I need to figure that shit out when I reach 150 subs because I'm almost there. I, I will. Need I want to be present for that, and I'm gonna try my damnedest. But uh, yeah, yeah, and essentially, um, I just need to figure out what to do, which is why I need to have this man give me some suggestions. Anyway, uh, while we're here, I should just say, honestly, it's been an honor entertaining you all for the last few months. Yeah. I'm not going away completely. You're just going to be on I'm hiatus. just going away for a while to take care of a family member. Yeah, that means you guys are going to be stuck with me for the next few months, which... Oh, boy. I'm also still... I'm also working on a uh, project for 16 in the background, if anyone's seen that show. Which is one show where Chris Potenza was in, and you already know how that guy went out. Oh, yeah. Diddled the campers. The underage campers. He had campers. one job. Don't diddle the campers. And he diddled the campers. The underage campers. Exactly. And... Um... This came up. Put this on chat. Or All put right. this on street. Let me see it. Uh, what the fuck is that? I don't know. I don't even think. I, it, I don't even know if I could show that. Can I show that? Well, fuck no genitals. Fuck it. We'll yolo it. Ugh. All right, Chad. Get ready to see something very cursed. We're gonna yolo it. I just typed in weird Pikachu products, and that's what came up. Downloads. I didn't type in dirty Pikachu products. There it is. I don't understand, but it's a thing. Here it is. <laughs> Put that over the health bar. Oh, sweet Jesus of Nazareth. Pika, no. Wage <laughs> <laughs> restriction. <laughs> Pika, no. No. Why did I find the world's weirdest Pokemon product? I don't fucking know. Where the hell do you find this I shit? No, either. I just typed in weird Pokemon products. I was expecting that to show up. Like, fucking hell, man. Like, bro. I love the expression the it has, too. Like, it's completely cool with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jed, dude. I didn't Google that specifically. I Googled weird Pikachu products. What the fuck? Christ on a stick. I should read my search history to chat. It is entertaining. That's, uh, you know what? Let's this, this be the rest of the stream. Let's just read this man's search history. Come on, bring it up. All right, fine. Bring it up, brother. Weird Pikachu products. Uh, Fushigi Ball, Xbox 360. Xbox 360 Wiki, Xbox 360, PS3 Wiki, PlayStation 3 Wikipedia, Brazil Wikipedia, Announcements Pokemon Legend ZA, Pokemon Legend ZA, Bloodborne, 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 Bloodborne Speedrun. And that's just the only ones recently. Bloodborne, Bloodborne Waste of Skin Speedrun. Stuff for a project I can't tell you what it is. Shinigami. Channel Dashboard. Video Analytics. Save Death Battle. Uh, Which Final of Fantasy X is still a masterpiece. Epic the Musical Fan Compilation. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra Teardown. Jack Horner Anime. Jack Horner. Jack Horner vs. Frieza. Guy Fox vs. Che Guevara. Jack Horner vs. Frieza? What the fuck? I don't know. That just came up in my recommendations earlier. Poison. Lucifer Song. Gizmodia's Song. Loot. GTA 5. Ushigi Ball, what is Mandart's real name, Sims Project Renee, Final Fantasy Persona voice actors are making a game where you can date everything. 
full recap of the Paris Olympics opening ceremony. Chief kicker Hunt Harrison Butler slams drag queen presentation at the Olympics. Olympics. War Thunder. I told you, my search history is boring as fuck. Fishing poles and... Oh! Want to hear all the stuff I had to Google last night for the 16 Project? Fishing poles and rods. Dick's Sporting Goods. Dick's Sporting Goods. 500 plastic spoons. Plastic straws. 15 pound box of lemons. How much does an industrial shipment of lemons cost in New Jersey? There's a method. There's a reason for all those Google searches. Yeah, that's why. Uh, for the 16 video I'm making. Of course. I, I honestly needed to know how much an industrial box of lemons cost. And according to my local farm of lemons, which are out of stock, $55 for a 15 pound ba box of lemons, which honestly ain't that bad. Let me remove it. I don't know why. There we go. But yeah, you you bald in JP? I guess you might need keep soon. A hundred percent. I'll take it too. Sounds like he's super. Also, Jet flipped you off, so you're welcome. I think I did it on accident, did I? Oh, fuck, I did. Oh, shit. Hold on, I think I deleted the wrong one. Anyway, uh, if you want to subscribe to any of my stuff, because I might actually post some, try and post some videos. Sorry, on my sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I deleted Discord on accident trying to get rid of that window. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, can they hear me now? Yeah, they can hear you just fine now. You're fine. Anyway, uh, if you want to, like, watch and support any of my shit while I'm gone, because there's some videos of me and Shinigami that are just on my channel that are unavailable elsewhere, go there. Yeah. Uh, Japan Lover 79 on YouTube. E. And, uh, if you want to subscribe while you're there, I won't say no. Yeah, let's get this man to 50 subs. I want to watch him suffer SMT4. <laughs> you said 100. I lied. It's 50 now. I lied! <laughs> <laughs> but not gonna lie, it wouldn't be fun to play SMT4 on stream just to see chat lose my shit. Or just to see- or just for chat to see me lose my shit. That would be sick. Actually, actually, I'm already gonna lose my shit with Mega Man once that happens. Which, oh boy, once that all-nighter stream hits, it's gonna fucking suck for me and my sleep schedule is gonna be fucked for the next week. So you're gonna be stuck with me, so... Yeah, it's gonna... Oh, well, look at that. Half, well, look at that. Half, oh, look at that. Half, people, half of the people that are sub to me unsubscribed. Look at that. I'm now back to... to stuff to you unsubscribe? No, I'm back to 20 subs. <laughs> what did you do that people unsubbed? Oh, no, people are subbed. I'm just joking around saying that the moment you left, I immediately lost like 120 subs. <laughs> <laughs> just lost all my subscriptions. They were just subscribed for me and me alone. Yeah. Imagine. Dude, that would be depressing. It would be, yeah, it would be really fucking depressing, and I would have severe um, uh, self esteem issues later. But yeah. I mean, my goal through all of this was to get you comfortable with streaming alone. I mean, I'm still gonna stream with you, obviously, when I come uh, back. But yeah, when you come I back. Make sure you are comfortable. Yeah, I also need to learn how to talk more, because when I get locked in, because you noticed when I was playing through the boss, I got, like, really quiet. That's why I'm glad I have Tism. I'll just start talking. Yeah. It helps, like, it helps, like, um, Pull me back when um when I'm like just locked a in. Stream. Hell yeah, it was. Yeah, it helps like uh pull me back when I'm locked in. Wrestling and ball jo and balls jokes. That's what I'm here for. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I'll yeah I'll, we'll, we'll we'll see that in chat. Don't worry, I'm gonna see that definitely. I'll make sure to send for Camilla. Oh, for you're Camilla. sending for Camilla Harris. That's awesome. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> Anyways, one I hope you guys really enjoyed the stream. Joke before I go. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, say, go subscribe to this man's channel because he's not going to be active on there for a hot minute. And yeah, uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy me now. So, yeah. See you guys tomorrow for a Fire Emblem stream. Hopefully this man will make it tomorrow, but after that it's going to be been me. fun doing this for two years straight. But I need a break. Yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Those that are new, please subscribe. 
And those that like the stream, go ahead and give it a like. As for those watching after the stream... Sorry. Ow. 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 Where the fuck did you find that one? No, no, it's new. Where do you find that? No, it's fucking new. Anyway, continue. I bet. I was like, yeah, those, please subscribe to this man here. And for those watching after the stream, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you think I'm worthy enough for your time. And like this stream if you think you enjoyed it. And leave any comments for anything you want to say nice to me or any criticisms or any, like, thank you notes for this man being on my co-host. And, uh, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alone. I no won't co-host. Alright. Well, good night, chat. And give your last goodbyes to this man. It was an honor, chat. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>